Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cybermen. Today we are going to discuss how you can download and install the Sans Swift Workstation. Sans Swift Workstation is a free and open source incident response and forensics tool included VM which is designed specifically for DFIR which means digital forensics and incident response. This is completely free virtual machine which is offered by SANS. You can simply go to their website and download this appliance, VM appliance or the VM and then you can install this one. In this video, we are going to look at how you can download this, how you can install this and how you can play around with this VM. When we are starting, we can go with three options as you can see in their website. Option one is Swift Workstation with the VM appliance. So we are going to discuss this method today. And if you have native Ubuntu system or Ubuntu VM on your hypervisor, then you can follow these instructions and you can install the Swift version on top of that Ubuntu system. Also, if you don't have any VM, but you are like to use the SANS DFIR VM inside the Windows, then you can use WSL, which means Windows Subsystems for Linux. And here are the steps. This is option 2B in this case. First, we need to download this VM and then we have to install this VM. I have already created account and I logged in through my account. So you need to have an account to do this. If you don't have one, please go ahead and create the account. Then you can download this one after that. So I logged in using my account and then I'm going to click download button over here. And then I will navigate to the download page. Here you will get the OVA file which is 5.5 GB is the size as you can see over here. So then you can download this and then you can install the OVA file. For the preparation of this video I have already downloaded my OVA file over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to install this in the VMware workstation. I'm going to go with the full screen mode here and then you can simply import that downloaded OVA file into the VMware workstation. If you want to use another hypervisor, you need to double check. I think this should work with the Oracle VirtualBox as well. I'm not sure with the Promox, but maybe you can have the VMware workstation or Oracle virtual box to use this. In order to import this, you have to go to the file and open in VMware workstation. And then you need to go to your download location of that specific OVA file and then click that file and then click open. Now it is asking what is the virtual machine name and what is the path you are going to install the, this machine. As usual, I am going to say sans DFIR VM because it's easy for me to recognize and I'm going to change my default installation location. I have dedicated path for all those VMs. So I'm going to use this location for my VM and you just have to click import and then it will take little time then it will import the whole VM into your VMware workstation. We will wait just a little bit until it has done, then we'll move forward. All right, as you can see now, the OVA file is imported into the VMware workstation. You can see it has already allocated 4 GB memory in there and four processors, and this is the hard drive size. If you want to edit these features or this is this configuration in here, you can simply go and you can change it. Even if you want to use different network adapter that also you can change from here. 
I'm not going to change anything because this is for demonstration purpose and if I want to do it in future videos maybe I might show you how we can do this. I will simply click cancel this one and go into power on my sans dfir vm. I will power on this click ok and just wait a little bit and it will power it on. The speciality of this VM is this is specially designed for digital forensics and incident response and it has some pre-built tool already installed. So you just have to go in there, play with those tools, find some resources and learn something about digital forensics and incident response. So this is based on Ubuntu, this build on top of the Ubuntu version. So that's why you saw there's an option to install this is on top of the Ubuntu as well. So we will just wait until this powered on, then we can move forward. All right, as you can see now, it's been installed and this is our SANS DFIR VM. The terminal is already there. If you want, you can just go ahead and do the updates and upgrades. It's a little bit slow for me because it's just installed. Yeah, now it's good. In the right hand side, you can see various number of PDFs which you have some different kind of information. If we check like random one, let's say Simmerman tools for this one especially. Simmerman tools are very famous tool for the digital forensics. So there are a lot of tools available in there. These also for free. You can simply use those tools. Some of them are already installed inside this VM. So this might take a little time to load. While it's loading, maybe we can check this one. Yep, it's there. There are some cheat sheet, I would say, because you can use these hints, these details when you are doing real incident response analysis or when you are doing real digital forensics investigation. Or if you want to practice this, there are a lot of samples available out there. Um, the NIST one is one of the famous one. If you go to the Google and simply search NIST hacking case, and then you can find this inside CFREDS portal. When you go to this website, you can find various number of disk images in there as well. You can simply download these images and then you can copy those into your DFIR VM and then you can do some analysis. If you go to this one and browse your data set, you can simply see a lot of data set available here and there are some old links available here let's say for this one hacking case this one and you can download this en case image this has dell latitude image as well there are a lot of artifacts in there so you can check those ones as well so today our topic was how we can install the sans dfir vm and how you can play with it there are a lot of things to show in here but i can't cover everything in this video but you can simply do your own research and hopefully i can do a lot of videos in related to dfir and especially digital forensics piece of that so stay tuned with me and i hope you guys learned something from today's video so if you have anything feel free to comment in the comment section I will put all the links in the description. We'll catch up with the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you.